Welcome back to the Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from Courtney Ryan. You know, I haven't done her channel in a while. And uh, she's doing a video on just women finally realizing that they actually need men. What? That is a little bit of surprise because my assumption was a lot more women were going to double down and just say, nah, we're never going to need men ever again. We're like being single. So please like and subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate that. And let's get to that chow. It's chow time. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Courtney Ryan, and today we're gonna to be reacting to a TikTok video. This is another positive one. I'm Ooh, excited for positivity. you guys to see it. I think it's very refreshing, um, and I'm sure you guys will all love the message being spread here. So let's watch it, reconvene, and I'll tell you what I think. But you do need a man, and I do, and they need us. Yeah. Otherwise, why do we exist? Basics. Why do we exist if we don't need each other? Basics. <laughs> it's literally basic biology. Female of one sex, male of one sex need to come together to procreate to further the future. Modern society's got you tricked into thinking yep. that solitude and existence by yourself in this world as an entity is where it's at. But we're communal creatures. We're animals. We are. It's biological. Yep. We need each other. The video. I mean, this is why um, solitary confinement is such a punishment for people, for humans, to be, to have no contact with the outside world, to have no other, drives people insane. Not everyone can do this. There's people that can, but most people, it is a torture. Was three things that men need in a relationship, and one of them was to feel needed. Yes. A lot of you asked how that is. How do you make a man feel needed? And some of you said you don't need a man. Yeah. But in the context of a relationship, you do. Yeah. There are things that men do and what they bring to a relationship that women don't and vice versa. I need a father for my children. Correct. I need him to do certain things. I need a solid mother. I need a mother to take care of the kids while I'm busy toiling the land or working or whatever it is. That's why we need each other. Like, it makes sense why only one parent should be working. Like, I don't mind if women did it, but it just doesn't work out that way. Men are usually the ones that have to do it. And as a man, I'm perfectly fine doing it. But at least let me do it. That fulfills me. And don't be afraid to show that you need your partner. So how to show a man that you need him and not that you rely on him. Yes, we could all survive by ourselves. We could also survive on the street and we don't need a bed. We could also sleep on the floor. Correct. Like it all doesn't matter. Sorry, got interrupted by a phone call. To show someone you need them is to generally have a vulnerability and an open heart to show them that you need them. Mm -hmm. Give them tasks and show them appreciation. Opening a jar, coming home on time with the takeaway they got you. That you need them to step up and fulfill you and make you happy and just genuine appreciation for things that they do do look i could work raise children do all those things and work over time but you the could. fact that somebody else can share the load and do that for me means that i need them yep it's not about pride and it's not about all these things even if you're long distance let's say for example a lot of people ask that you can show them that you, they that you need them to call you to talk to you and to do all these things so when he does call instead of going on that why didn't you call me on tuesday be like wow i'm so excited to talk to you really made my day i agree i agree you know men not all men are busy i know this a lot of men play games to be to be busy but there are genuinely busy men out there and there's men that just don't like texting every day <laughs> i'm one of them i'll text you like two three times in one day and then i won't text you the next day then i'll maybe text you once or twice the next day after that that's just me just because I'm busy and you're not most women are not priorities in my life and I don't think very many high caliber men are putting women in this high caliber of a need slash want just show appreciation for the person that you have it's not that you can't live without them we all can yes so stop walking around saying yeah I don't need no I don't need no that why are you saying that why are you saying that? Imagine if a man said that to you, I don't need no woman in my life while you're there like raising his children and working. Yep. Thanks, that makes me feel really good. You don't need me. Mm -hmm. Great. It's just an unattractive. This is the other part where, not hating on men, but we always say, oh, the, the single fathers, yes, they always end up doing better statistically for their child. 
but does not mean he does not need a mother. This is the other part that I like want to say. We almost always say single fathers do better than single mothers, that we don't need mothers, that we don't need women. No, motherfuckers, we need them too. Just because fathers do better doesn't that mean that the, the, the child does not require a mother too or a motherly figure. Like, you want the best for your child. Give them both parents. Don't think that one parent is lesser than the other. They're not. They're both required almost a 50-50 like, contribution to that child. And technically, they are 50-50 contribution. Was one sperm and one's egg. That's technically 50-50. But yes, the woman carries for the rest of the time, so she's the incubator. But when you talked about the contribution to create that life, it was sperm, egg, 50-50. It's an ugly attitude, not even from his point of view, yeah. but for you to have in general, that doesn't, that doesn't, it's not good for the soul vibes. <laughs> First of wrong. all, I just want to say that I love this creator. I she just think awesome. she's such a positive influence for women. And all the videos that I've seen from her personally have all been really great. So love her. Love this message. Two thumbs up from me. So I as agree. I always do, we're going to go through here. I have some key takeaways that I wanted to talk about. Let's see what her takeaways are. And just some of my are. thoughts after watching this video. The fact of the matter is that, yes, we do need each other. And it's refreshing to see a woman saying that. It is. It we is. We need each other both. As men, I don't know how you guys feel you know, in the, in the community, but I like videos like this. I enjoy videos like this. Even if these, some of these women are post wall and it's too late for them, it's fine. I just want them to relay this message out to the younger women. I was, it's fine. It's not fine, but it happens, right? There's going to be a lot of post wall women. There's just going to be a lot of them. If a lot of them just doubled down and just kept telling women the wrong things, it's just going to be worse and worse. So I'm, I, I am pr happy and like proud that these some of these women come and say, no, you know what? I made mistakes or whatever it is. This is how it should be. This is how you should be handling things. Even if like one or two young women see it and it fixes their lives, that's progress. Biologically and socially. Biologically speaking here, if we're getting down to the nitty gritty, men and women are designed to complement each other to ensure the survival of the human species and procreate. I mean, there's a reason why this literally goes into this almost perfectly. Just saying. <laughs> Socially, men and women bring different perspectives, skills, and strengths to a relationship and can support each other in various ways. And just to give you guys an example here, women might bring more emotional intelligence or nurturing qualities I hate this. I, I'm going to disagree with her. Emotional intelligence is useless. From what I can tell. Women always seem to think that they're more emotionally intelligent than men. I actually disagree. Because they don't have the empathy. All right? They don't have empathy for men. They don't have empathy for others. So it's hard to say when someone doesn't have empathy for a, a different group of people. That they're actually more, you know um that term i forgot what it's called emotional intelligence sorry i fucking can remember the word. <laughs> more of this logical side or problem solving abilities leadership things like that of course sometimes there's overlap here as we all differ individually but that's just an example we often also have different experiences and perspectives which can lead to a deeper understanding and empathy that is 100 percent relationships i'm assuming a different perspective See the empathy thing it's just very few women I have met that have empathy towards men and men's struggles. This is the part where, again, men, as men, I think we have plenty of empathy for other men and for women. Why? Because they're simps. Simps literally empathize with women. And, you know, and it is what it is, right? Perspective is why many of you guys watch my channel because I offer a woman's perspective that as a man you do not have the same way This is why I like covering the women's channel not that I like want to put them on a pedestal or anything No, as, as men we get to see what they their thought like even this video her thought process and my thought process are somewhat similar But then like they differ in certain certain areas I find it helpful to read through your comments to get a male point of view if you use this to your advantage It's incredibly beneficial 
The dynamic between men and women is obviously multifaceted, and both genders benefit from the unique qualities that the other brings to the table. Correct. And ultimately here, the differences each person brings has the ability to make you stronger together as a unit. I agree. Hence, probably the reason why men and women tend to look for different things when they're dating. Correct. Shocker. Oh. I know this causes a lot of confusion for people, but the sooner you realize this, the more successful your dating experience will probably be. I and now I want to talk that. about this independent woman who don't need no man thing. She made a really great comment about how modern society has tricked us into believing solitude and being alone or being this independent woman who doesn't need a man is where it's at and what we should be striving for, when in reality, we are quite literally meant to connect with each other. Mm -hmm. And the independent woman who doesn't need a man is just a rather negative attitude and mindset towards men in general or relationships as a whole. Humans are social creatures and thrive on connections and relationships with others regardless of gender here. And women who have this independent woman, I don't need a man mindset are often single or really struggle when they try to date for a couple of reasons. This is true. If you consistently tell men that you don't need them, eventually they're going to start to listen to you. Yes. Why would they want to be with a woman who says, I don't need you? I mean, once you hear it once or twice, you're like, well, fuck, you don't need me. I'll go look for someone else that needs me then. Later. Most of the time, they don't even want you either. So... Why would a man choose to be with a woman like that? They also often have incredibly unrealistic expectations because they think that men are looking for the same things in women that they're looking for in a man and believe, well, I check all of these boxes, so I must be the ultimate catch. Wrong. Correct. They don't know what men actually want. No, they don't. And I can tell you, it's not a woman who's going around saying, I'm an independent boss babe that don't need no man. They might be combative, hyper-independent, don't ask for help or let men help, which in return leads to festering resentment that builds mm -hmm. up over time in relationships. These are good analysis. It's just incredibly unattractive to men when women have an attitude like this, and for good reason. And Dude, it is. It makes a woman so ugly to me. Like, no matter how gorgeous a woman is, once she has this fucking nasty attitude that just comes out of her, like, I'm... Sometimes their voice and their attitude just comes out. It's just like, you know what? I'm out. I don't even want to fucking talk to you. And I'll give an example here from the other side, just to be fair. I think when men get on the internet and say, I don't want a woman, I don't need a woman, all women are awful, and they have this very hateful, bitter... Okay. If women... If there's men that are saying that, yeah. But there's also a group of bit towels. They say they don't... They want women but they also don't want the laws that are coming along with everything that's going on. Once laws favor men or a little bit more equalize, I, I'm sure a lot more men are willing to settle down. They're just scared of losing their assets just the way it's set up right now. So, I mean, yeah, I'm sure there's some men that say they hate women and rather not deal with women or whatever it is, or just, you know, women are evil in general. There are those types. I mean, the, the radical incel types would be those types, in my opinion. You know, crappy attitude, that is also unattractive. And I wouldn't want to build a life or be with a man who acted like he didn't need me or want me. Mm -hmm. That is stepping into a life of being unappreciated with someone who is ungrateful for you and the value that you bring into a relationship. And the same thing could be said here about women who say they don't need men. Yep. You can be independent and still need someone to fill that other role of a relationship. That's yep. what a relationship is. It's not a one-man rodeo. They don't need to be the sole proprietor of your happiness and fulfillment or I like complete that, the sole you. Proprietor. They should contribute to it and enhance it. Correct. And again, it's possible to be both independent and interdependent and to value and prioritize relationships in your life. And I've done many videos about this, but I'll touch on it a little bit again here because it's relevant. I think as women have become more successful financially, socially, we've become more independent. Uh, what we're looking for in men has also kind of leveled up a little bit. I agree with that. And there's not actually, I don't disagree with women on it. I totally understand. I mean, it's in their nature. They're hypergamous. So as society lets them, you know, climb those corporate ladders. Yes, it makes sense that they're going to want to have someone above their pay grade. But the other thing is, sometimes you have to settle because there's not enough men above your pay grade that would look at you in that light. But there's plenty of men below your pay grade that are solid, good men that just make a little bit less money than you. But most women don't see those men because they make a little bit less money than you 
And again, I think the issue here of women not knowing necessarily what men are looking for comes into play. I actually just reacted to another video on TikTok a couple weeks ago um, where this woman was saying, men want a woman with substance, but I think a lot of women don't know what substance looks like to yes. men. And they also certainly don't want to be with a woman who justifies having a very bad attitude, princess mentality, because don't need no past. man behavior with the fact that they have a degree or oh, make a okay. lot of money and think yeah. that they are a high value correct, woman. Correct. Just because you think that you're high value doesn't mean that you're going to be high value to the people you want to date. This is correct. And I made a comparison in the past about a house. You know, if I have a house, I think it's worth a million dollars. I think I absolutely have to get a million dollars for this house, but then I sell it and nobody's buying it. I'm getting no offers and people are offering me 500,000 and nobody's even close to a million, well, I either need to figure out what I can do to make my house worth more money, or I need to lower my expectations. Damn, I love that. What can you do to make your house worth more money? Women, fix your house. A little bit, because clearly, it's not worth the price tag that I'm asking for. Correct. And I know maybe it's not the best to compare people to houses, but just to, you know, eliminate the emotional aspect I out of it. I thought that was you a good You should have comparison. confidence in yourself and what you bring to the table, but I think it's also important to be realistic and hold yourself to the same standards that you're asking for in another partner and understand I that, you know, agree with just that. because you think you check all the boxes doesn't mean that every guy you date is going to think the same thing. So to wrap this up, yes, men and women need each other. And I don't think it's healthy or attractive to have this mindset of, I don't need a man. I don't want a man. I can do everything myself. I want to be alone. I just don't think that's healthy. And I think our society has glamorized and romanticized that. It has. And I do think we're seeing the repercussions of that with more single people than ever before. People are lonelier than ever before. Less kids. Uh, mental health issues are on the rise. I just think it's creating a lot of problems. And I don't think that anyone deep down wants to be alone or wants to be single. And again, the same thing goes for you guys watching. All these men who go their own way or who act like all women them. are the worst thing in the world, I don't think that's healthy either. No. And I don't think we get anywhere or make any... That's why I try not to... I don't promote that in my channel or my community. It's like, no, women are women. Men are men. We have our own differences. We have our own issues. You know, men are brainwashed to be weak. Women are brainwashed to be fucking strong and masculine. It is what it is, you know, like for us to hate on women is like hating on yourself because most of us got brainwashed a certain way also, right? We had to learn ourselves and fix ourselves and it's just harder for women to recognize some of these things, so progress by hating each other or saying we don't need each other or we don't want each other because deep down at the end of the day we do that we do of course sometimes there's overlap as i mentioned but men and women tend to offer different things and bring different value and skills to the table um, and i think as a society to function properly we need both correct that's why we how is that chow i agree with a lot of her points you know like her analyzation of how it is and our, my analyzation of how it is is actually very similar it's only that one difference but it's nice to see more of us are having more similar thought patterns and I, i'm not i don't want to say our thought pattern is correct but it's a little bit more of a, a positive encompassing of men and women thought pattern right so please like and subscribe down below i really appreciate that and i'll catch you guys next time it's